Okay, next news story, and this one may well be a non-story by the time uh, everything sort of plays out, but Brad Sams online has reported uh, a job ad from Qualcomm um, suggesting that the next... I'm actually going to do a quote-unquote here. The next generation of Surface and Xbox products will be built on Snapdragon Solutions, which has a whole host of implications. The first one primarily being that, um, well, forget the x86 cores, the last couple of generations were moving to ARM, which was something that was discussed in um, Microsoft's classic self-own FTC leak. <laughs> Um, that was described as a uh, as an option um, at the time. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, the concept that we're moving from um, radio and architecture to whatever it is that Snapdragon is doing is it Adreno something like that? Yeah, um, that's that's also apparently on the table, um, and we've got this job ad which was for a director level um, a position. Uh, which apparently confirms it. I actually clicked through on the job ad this morning to follow up on this, and uh, surprise, surprise, the job ad has disappeared. But oh it has been preserved in Brad Sam's coverage. Um, I'm going to just go straight in by uh, poo-pooing it, uh, because, well, first of all, what is an Xbox? I mean, this is the <laughs> whole thing that Microsoft is saying at the moment. Does Microsoft know what an Xbox is? <laughs> well, the point I, is, this is an Xbox. I have an Xbox right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it can apply to anything, which, you know, um, basically means PCs, which, and there are PCs built on Snapdragon solutions. Um, I mean, based on my tests, they're not very good, but they Surface. are there. And I wouldn't want to play Xbox games on them, but, but there it is. Um, Xbox is an app on PC at the moment as well. I mean, it could mean anything. I guess the question is one of how viable a Snapdragon processor would be for a next generation console. And I can see that there would be um, some advantages for going down that route. But at the same time, Alex, it's going to be AMD, surely. Yeah, as much as it, that is the boring route forward. Um, <laughs> I've complained time and time again how Xbox Series X and PS5 are boring because they're like the exact same box with some differences. Uh, that would be interesting if they did do the ARM. I don't know if I if they're the... This is the... Because that's the Snapdragon stuff and all the stuff you reviewed for the Surface laptop, that, that all seemed really not good to me, both from a software perspective and the hardware performance you were yielding from it. Um, mm. So it, it, that didn't excite me in that aspect. If it was one of the different other ARM manufacturers in tandem with a different GPU, because I'm pretty sure the Adreno drivers that you were dealing with there were the one of the biggest causes of headaches and performance woes that you saw. I don't. It was awful. Yeah, it was awful. And so good. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't think that's interesting, and I don't think Microsoft would have, especially the people uh, at the Advanced Technology Group, would have been convinced by those aspects of how it is in the Windows environment. And I don't think they would have said, "Yes, let's use this for the core Xbox." console in the upcoming generation rather i think this is the new xbox branding that will apply to a variety of devices we didn't talk about it last week we skipped the we had it on the the sheet to talk about it but then we skipped it but there's with the new gears of war re-release uh, of the what was the ultimate edition that is now going to be you know kind of pumped up a bit and it's going to release on whole it's going to release on ps5 etc but that listing for it mentioned xbox pcs and so Microsoft, yeah. by that point in time, is already going to be rolling out the Xbox PC moniker, which will then apply to a variety of anything that can run Xbox stuff. And by that point in time, maybe they actually have a way that Xbox backwards compatibility is more somehow enmeshed with PC. I don't know what that looks like at the moment, but I think that's been hinted for a long time. So maybe that makes the transition to a more PC like Xbox more graceful than just cutting off all the owners of previous Xbox titles. But I like you, Rich, I think this is a branding thing and not really a this is the console. Mm -hmm. John, thoughts? The biggest issue I could let's let's say theoretically they did switch to ARM. Uh we already have ARM in the Switch too. And the Switch, right? Yep. And that's worked out. The problem with Xbox is that there's, they've been trying to build a legacy with backwards compatibility being a focus in this whole library system, right? I feel like that right there creates sort of a bottleneck problem issue that would make, it would be, I mean, am I right to say that I think it would be pretty exceptionally difficult to get everything Xbox up to this point running on ARM processor right now? 
Yeah, right. Based on like, certainly what's happening on the PC. Yeah, right. Like maybe older Xbox stuff. Sure, they could find a way. But like Xbox Series class games, I'm not so sure that would be quite doable just yet. That's a lot to ask. So right there, that creates that problem where they would have to break with that library. And I understand that the next Xbox is going to be kind of, it seems like it's a different focus. Like it's more towards like a multitude of devices. But I, I agree with Alex. I think it's going to be AMD again. <laughs> so mainly because like AMD is also established in the mobile space. So we're hearing all these mobile Xbox platforms, right? And then of course they've been using them in the consoles. So I feel like even though, you know, there could be interesting reasons to try for ARM, I think just in terms of, like, compatibility and the fact that, I mean, there's been talk about it, like, running Steam, for instance. I think offering a system that is as compatible as possible, playing all these Windows games, like that would give it sort of an advantage over something like Steam Deck even, right? If they're moving in that PC model where it's like, it's a console, but it's really a PC it behooves them to have better compatibility. And if they went ARM, it would also cause problems there. So I just feel like it's not really a tree worth barking up right now in terms of uh, just software compatibility. But obviously the benefit of ARM is that you, it's much more efficient. You can get right. significantly better battery life. So if you're doing a, a handheld device, for instance, that that's good. But for most things, I'm not sure it's a good idea. And yeah, the Surface situation, the recent ARM-based laptops it's not great uh we mm -hmm. actually looked into we looked at a little bit of these recently when my wife was looking for a new laptop and i test i test drove one of the surface i guess they're still called surface right like surface laptop yep. or something uh -huh. and you know at first you're like oh this seems fine but then you start to try to run certain types of software certain types of games and it just it doesn't it doesn't work that yeah. well it's just not good mm -hmm. enough and in to to that point, it actually felt like a step down from from she had an older original Surface Pro Surface Book Pro or Surface Book, I guess. It's the Surface Book, right? The the first yep, one they yep. did with the GPU built into the keyboard, I think. Yeah. And <laughs> in some ways this was slower, it felt like. <laughs> right. So just because of that layer that the arm brings to the table where they have to sort of translate between it. So I don't know, I man. I, I don't see it. I just don't see it. But who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it causes a lot of problems. You're quite right. And um, Xbox is all about, um, well, basically, one of the key ways to make sure people stay within the Xbox ecosystem is to make sure their games work, their existing library of games. And compatibility is core to that. Now, obviously, they have a track record of having achieved the impossible in getting power PC code running on x86 processors, you know, Xbox 360 on Xbox One, which is uh, still, I think, one of the biggest sort of technological marvels of the of, of the modern console age but the concept of going through all of that pain again um, and then revalidating all of those games uh, achieving also as you quite rightly say john um, achieving the performance of um, series console cpu yep. performance on on arm um, that is going to be problematic Yep. Uh, I suspect there will be things that you could call an Xbox that will be running on Snapdragon processors, but I still think it's really work in progress. Also, if you think about the stuff that we're looking for next generation, um, the focus isn't... Obviously, you've got to have strong GPU performance. That's kind of up in the air with Snapdragon. Um, but you also need to have a really, and I mean really good uh, machine learning solution. You need to have really good ray tracing support. And ultimately let's be honest, that puts you in the either the Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA categories. Mm -hmm. NVIDIA can't make an SoC for um, Xbox that includes an x86 core, unfortunately, unless they were going to, you know, um, have a, a separate chip. So that rules them out. And so, you know, just the whole compatibility play and the fact that the direction of travel at AMD is to embrace those features strongly suggests amd right so yeah this concept of um i think the the, the tweet from brad sams who was um, next gen xbox will run on arm i think uh replace next gen with some kind of yeah <laughs> it's probably more accurate some kind of xbox will run on arm <laughs> at some point in the future that would be the thing that i'll add at the end <laughs> so yeah i kind of think it's uh interesting but um i don't know you know um 
what can I say? Uh, I, we got this question actually from Anxiously Chronoed Figured. Good morning, gentlemen! Exclamation point. Apparently, Qualcomm is looking for employees to support the selling activities for the next Snapdragon and Xbox products built on Snapdragon solutions. How likely do you think it is that the next Xbox will run on ARM, ARM architecture? We just answered that. To me, sounds like another collaboration, like the one with Kenan the Barbarian. But who knows what Phil is cooking anymore? <laughs> I just love that. Who knows what Phil is cooking anymore? Well, you know, he's cooking a 10th generation console, um, <laughs> and uh, which they're describing as delivering the greatest te the technical leap ever. And that technical leap, I just don't see it being delivered by Snapdragon. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, of course, we could all get, we could get this wrong at some point. It would be hilarious, you know. Yeah. Obviously, you know, it's not great when, when you know, you make these statements and then, the absolute opposite happens. But in this case, I'd love to see it. Yeah, we'd love to be happening. wrong. 